A timely debate, given the terrible news that the Transport Minister delivered two weeks ago to the Chamber and to the people of the Highlands. The omission from the Transport Minister that the Government's promise to duel the A9 by 2025 had been broken has been met with anger, despair and frustration. And little wonder, given the serious road safety concerns. The A9 sadly has a reputation for accidents and tragically 13 people died in 2022. My thoughts uh, go out to their families. The road is dangerous with particular black spots at points of transition from dual to single carriageway. The death toll alone has long made the case for upgrading the road. But the A9 is also vital for economic and community development. It's used by tourists as well as Highland residents to commute to work, attend medical appointments and access education. And like the Minister, my own family use it regularly to see one another. Recently, Labour colleagues and I met with the A9 Dual Action Group. What emerged so clearly from that meeting, apart from their frustration and their disappointment, was how important a better, safer A9 is to their quality of life. The A9 is also vital to supporting the Highland economy, creating jobs and, in some areas, arresting population decline. For all of these reasons, President Officer, the duelling of this road needs to be a priority and progressed as a matter of urgency, as the Labour Amendment makes clear. And I hope every member across the Chamber and every party will support that amendment. In 2007, the SNP manifesto was titled It's Time to Move Forward and included a commitment to duel the A9. Sixteen years later, President Officer, and where are we? We have barely moved forward at all. Just 11 miles completed, 77 miles remain. The remaining nine sections to be completed are listed on Transport Scotland's website as in preparation. Not even started yet, in other words, presiding officer. We also do not have a new timescale, and we do not even have a firm date for a new timescale. Where is the urgency? Where is the drive? Where is the absolute commitment that the Transport Minister claimed two weeks ago? Because if the Scottish Government is still absolutely committed to this project, then they have a strange way of showing it. Yesterday, the Scotsman reported predictions from industry experts that it could now be 2050, 2050 before this project is completed. President Officer, it is little wonder that people up and down the A9 and across the Highlands feel so badly betrayed. It is little wonder that even some of the Minister's own SNP colleagues are publicly furious about this. And what, has, what hasn't helped is being treated to bizarre excuses, even stooping so low as attempting to blame Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. We've also had COVID and Brexit. It's not just me that's saying these excuses are not credible. We can see the public's deep scepticism on these absurd claims. There are many questions about how this has come to pass over the last 16 years. That's why Scottish Labour believes there must be a parliamentary inquiry into the government's failure to deliver this key promise. This promise needs to be delivered without delay. That is why we cannot support the SNP amendment today that actually welcomes the intention of the Government to set out a renewed timescale for the completion of the duelling later in 2023. Any SNP MSP that votes for that amendment can also claim they are standing up for their constituents. Are we seriously expected to welcome a delay and welcome a new timescale not being set until later this year? It should be happening now, and it, in fact, it should have been happened long before now. The fact that it hasn't does lead people to question how committed the SNP and Green government is. Since the terrible news two weeks ago, Green MSPs like Ariana Burgess have broken cover to state their view is that duelling the road is not actually a priority. How on earth can the Transport Minister say this government is absolutely committed to duelling the A9 when Green MSPs aren't? I asked the Minister two weeks ago in this chamber if the Greens were in favour of this project. The response I got was just, I'm not a Green Minister. The last time I checked, President Officer, the Minister was a Scottish Government Minister, and the Government is made up of the SNP and the Greens. Presumably, the Minister can tell us today, when she says the Scottish Government is absolutely committed to this duelling project, is she also speaking for our partners in Government, the Scottish Greens? I'm happy to give way if the Minister wants to give that commitment, um, because I am not hearing it from the Greens themselves. This is also important because members may recall Mr Whittle and I raising in the chamber what we heard from the A75 and A77 action group. We were informed that the Minister told campaigners that the Greens may hinder efforts to have those roads upgraded. 
That and the comments of Green MSPs will make people believe the same must be true of the A9. Presiding officer, the story of the A9 dueling project is a story of promises made and promises broken. Lives lost, local people betrayed, rural communities and economies let down. And so Highland communities and users of the A9 should also hear an apology from the Minister today. But that's not enough. They deserve also to hear when this government will actually deliver on its commitment to them to fully duel this road and for it to be delivered. President officer, the least this government can do now is finally come clean to be frank with people and to give them some answers as well as action. Thank you.